Yo guys, how's it going? We are back for another episode of Norwich Career Mode where today we have ourselves crunch time. As you can see in the top left corner, our manager rating is down to a 45 after these 26 games, only picking up 14 points with the boys. We have ourselves two games in today's episode against Southampton and against Brentford. Should be two games that we can at least pick up a couple of points out of. We should be getting three points against Brentford. Uh, Southampton are going to be a little bit more difficult, but we've got to try and pick up whatever we can at the minute. Hopefully, it'll be a decent performance again from the boys, um, like we showed in these last couple of episodes. But yeah, let's get into it. It's crunch time at Norwich. Let's see what we can do. And here we are for this first game of two today, where we have ourselves this game against Southampton. Like I say, it's going to be absolute crunch time at uh, Carra Road, or it is at St Mary's at the minute. But at Carra Road, it is crunch time for us to try and keep our job. We have to be winning every game at the minute uh, to try and get us out of that red um, that red rating. And at the minute, it's very far down into the red rating. We have ourselves a 45 rating. Um, but yeah, this game is going to be crucial to our survival at Norwich. Uh, not just in the league, but to actually keeping our job as well. Let's see if we can get our weight moving out of the drop zone. And hopefully keeping our job as well. Let's go. Right, uh, here we are. So it is played short from the corner and it's inside already looking dangerous from this corner. And it's a good effort at goal, but over the bar. As Poitas is the man who has whipped that ball into the box. It's a good header away this time. And Tazilis is the man to try and bring us clear. He's on the ball still at the moment. We'll try and play this ball over the top to Divock Origi, who has managed to meet it. He plays the shot. It's blocked. And it's still not ended up in the back of the net. And now it is for Southampton to try and break themselves forward. It's nearly intercepted against Armstrong. It's now with uh, Shea Adams out to Smallbone. Whips the ball into the box. And it's a good, cr uh, good headed clear from Max Ahrens. And at the minute, we're just trying to get any sort of attack going. At the minute, it's with Archer. We'll spread it out wide now to Campwell. Plays it inside. Divock Origi. Space takes the shot and it's saved by the keeper in McCarthy. But at the minute, we're having a couple of decent effort at goal. And it shows that the boys are definitely still putting in work for me at the minute. Max Ahrens, on the other hand, as he gives the ball away. Um, not doing the, the exact same, really. But at the minute, Kabak has managed to intercept that very easily. We'll play the ball inside to Divock Origi. Archer making the run beyond his man. Gets onto the end of it and puts the ball in the back of the net. How is your youth academy a graduate? Tell me something different that Blake Archer is not my guy. He has done bits there and has managed to put us in the lead in, like I say, pretty much all of these games at the minute are must-wins. And we've managed to do that just here. We've managed to put ourselves at least on the prospect of getting ourselves this win with uh, Blake Archer putting that ball in the back of the net. And we're 1-0 up. Oh, that is relief to at least get ourselves in the lead. Thank you, Blake. Um, but yeah, at the minute, not looking too shabby when we're defending. <coughs> well, when we're coming forward, shall I say. Defending, on the other hand, isn't looking too great at the moment. As I say that, Armstrong has a massive position to work with. Omar Bedelli has pushed his man and forced his man out of danger. Uh, Poitas is the man on the ball, gives it in to Shea Adams. And it's a good save by Ang Angus Gunn who has just saved us from conceding that goal that I was talking about just before half-time. Right, that is half-time, boys. We've gone in at 1-0 with that Blake Archer goal. And that's all I can uh, be sure about at the minute. Rashika is not looking happy for some reason, but we're 1-0 up, and that's all I can be happy about at the minute. I don't know if he just doesn't want me here or something, but... At the minute, it's working for us, so that's the best thing for us. Right, Omar Bedelli can give the ball off to cut back here, and we'll spread this now into Norman, who has a lot of space here to work with, so hopefully he can actually work with it, and he doesn't do so, as he gave the ball straight back to Southampton here. Uh, Blake Archer has to make his run back and hopefully try and defend all he can here. Not really working out at the minute, as Armstrong spreads the ball out to Portas, and that is inside. It's a good block from Omar Bedelli though and now Rashika the man on the ball has managed to give the ball away he's managed to give the ball away and that is a oh 
Shay Adams. Shay Adams, the man from Leicester who is now playing in Southampton, has just fucked me over. He's a brother. He's a brother from Leicester and he's managed to fuck me over. Please, please let me get back into the lead of this game. I need a win. Oh, and it's one of my mistakes that's led it to a one uh, two come level. Man, Hassan Hootel can do one right now. Right, it's with Smallbone out on that right hand side. And uh, can we get a tackle in? We need to get a tackle in right now. Smallbone to Walker Peters. Can we do something here? Can we do something? No, we can't. Walker Peters is on the ball still. If they manage to take the lead now. That's as good as my job lost. And they have managed to do so. It's 2-1 to Southampton. And somehow, some way, we have managed to lose this game. Oh, how, how, how has this happened? We looked so good in this game. So good. And somehow, we've still managed to go 2-1 one, uh, one down. I don't know who it is that has put the ball in the back of the net. It might have been Poitas. Uh, Poitas. I'm actually so downhearted right now because I think we have just lost a job from that goal. Uh, and I think we're going to be losing our Norwich job now. <clears throat> right then, boys. Here we go. Back underway. And at the minute, these boys... Uh, need to be pulling out their finger and actually doing it very quickly as uh, Rashika is the man on the ball, gives it to Blake Archer. We've found Sargent, uh, gives it to Origi. Now out wide again to Rashika, give it back and it's into Sargent who has took that shot and that is just that is just the shot. It wasn't even deflected. Wow. Gives it to Borgia and we're trying to defend as much as we can. And Max Ahrens has won us the ball back here. If we can just try and get one last attack going with Rashika. Here we go. We're charging through. We'll give that ball through. It's Sargent on the end of it. Takes the shot. Finds the back of the net. And that man is my genius. I love this guy. I actually love him. I actually love him. He is the only man up front that actually seems to be able to put the ball in the back of the net. And he's done it again here. He's managed to get our side back on level terms. And it's two apiece. It's Sargent again saving our bacon. It's a, a side back level. Can we now try and push on for the victory in this one? Let's go. Right then boys, back underway after we have just come and drawn ourselves back level in the last few remaining minutes of this game. We have just made three changes to try and push on and maybe grab ourselves them three points as well if we possibly can. Get ourselves back into winning contention uh, as Shea Adams spreads the ball out to Smallbone. We have to defend this well in the first place if we possibly can do this. Please, for once in your life team, just defend well. And he hasn't done so, but it's a very good save from Angus Gunn and somehow we've not managed to beat Poitas to the ball there but Rashika has intercepted that pass we can give it off to Campbell now give it back out wide and that is a tragic pass from Campbell gain something out of this we need to keep this now because uh, if we don't I'll actually be so upset but Poitas is give the ball in no it's Poitas now on the ball it's played inside it's a brilliant save again from Gunn that is full time but is the draw enough to keep us our job? We've managed to get ourselves 1-0 in the lead. Somehow go 2-1 down and we've pulled it back level. But have we done enough in this game to at least keep our job for another one so we get into the Brantford game and actually try and work something from that one? That is the question. We'll have to wait and see, boys. <coughs> right then, boys, we have ourselves a post-match interview. Let's see what they have to ask us. What was uh, was that game you could have easily lost today? We were resilient. That's very true. Uh, we have ourselves now uh, a close game. Are you happy with a draw? At least we didn't let the draw slip away from us, which we could have very easily done at the end of the game. And you still can't defeat them. How do you improve? We will stick together, I promise you. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. Done. Uh, Chelsea are actually complaining about Gilmore's uh, appearances, apparently. So, yeah. We have ourselves a monthly scouting report now from uh, Poland. And there's only one decent player that I can actually use. But we have to check our youth squad, uh, squad to actually gain this player. Okay, let's have a look. 
see anyone that I want to sign or can sign at the moment. <clears throat> so this man here is being signed right now. Harvey Prince. Uh, Harley Prince, sorry. Uh, we can't promote him to the senior team at the minute, can we? He's 15. If we're allowed to, promote. No, we can't. I didn't think we could. Um, so have we got anyone else that's decent in here that I can actually use? We've got this man, but he, let's go for Elliot Benson, being as he can actually come into the side now. Let's go for him, promote to senior team, and yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. So this man can now come into the squad. There we go. Right then, boys, here we are for our second and final game of today's episode against Brentford. But as you'll see here, I've just realised, <coughs> basically, uh, for the end of this season, we have ourselves uh, 11 games. As we'll quickly jump into the league table just before we start this last game. Um, we have ourselves 11 games uh, left of the season. We're currently nine points away from clinching... Uh, well, as uh, Leeds are currently on 24. Basically, as you'll see now, we have ourselves a game against Brentford now, who are two places in front of us in the 18th. Still four points away from us as well. So no matter the outcome of this game, we ain't moving off the bottom of the table. In the next game, we have a game against Leeds. So that's <coughs> another must-win game. We then have Chelsea, which, let's be honest, we're probably going to end up losing quite badly. We then have Brighton, who are literally the place of... Then we have Burnley, who I think are in either 16th or 15th at the moment. I can't quite remember. We've then got Manchester United, which again is a nil and void game, I think. We then have Newcastle and Aston Villa. This next month, providing we can make it through this one alive and still in the manager's position, these two games are going to be the most crucial of our career so far as we'll need to win, I think, both of these to keep our job. We lose against Chelsea. It's still going to be a little bit shaky uh, and we might still end up losing it even though the game is against Chelsea. Then, if we can make it through them three games, we have these two, which again are going to be critical three-pointers. We'll have to get three-pointers uh, from both of these. And that'll, meet, that'll make 12, which should mean, providing Leeds don't get anything out of their games, that should mean we should escape relegation just. Providing then we can carry on some kind of form into these last games. But it's going to be very difficult against these sides to end the season. But, yeah, let's try and start this out now. And hopefully a good run of form. This one is a critical game. Don't get me wrong, that Southampton one was critical. We got a point out of that one. is ten times now more crucial than that game. And we have to try and get ourselves building our way out of the back. Let's go, let's get into it, let's see what the boys can do. And here we are, the boys have arrived. Josh Sargent, of course, the man that is getting all the praise at the minute because he has been my guy up front this season. He has been absolutely the only player that's actually been able to do anything up front for us this season and I'm very, very, very proud of him. Uh, so yeah, let's see if he can try and keep us in this job a little bit longer today by getting himself another goal or two. Let's get into it, boys. There's no time to mess about in this one. Right, Campwell, the ball, man on the ball, nearly giving it away there. Gives it to Billy Ball very nicely that time into Billy Gilmore. And we'll play that ball through. Josh Sargent, if he's got the pace, he hasn't quite overhit that one a little bit. But Origi to take that, and that was absolutely dreadful. Ball played long, and again it is won by years, and it's going to come straight back at Brentford. We'll play this ball nicely over the top. It's Divock Origi, and there we go. 13 minutes in, the goal we thoroughly needed. This man, since he's signed, has scored some very, very clinical and crucial goals for us. Obviously got our first win um, in God knows how many games it was uh, that we were uh, losing for. 
and hadn't picked up a win. He managed to pick up two goals in that game against Crystal Palace and get us that win. And here he's just bagged himself his first goal since then. And it's a goal against Brentford that could be trying to, one, save our job, and two, maybe...